Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life throughout September of 2024. I'm going to pull for you an eight-card spread, see who you're possibly dealing with this month with romantic intentions. Whether it's somebody new or someone that you already know and you're fully aware of this person, I will definitely do my best to see who you're connecting to this month and why. I'll get their feelings for you, your feelings for them. I'll get their true intentions with the connection this month. I'll take a look at how they're treating you and behaving towards you this month. And I'll even deep dive into what could be troubling you the most right now, whether it has anything to do with your love life Aquarius or there's something else going on and you're really hoping that your spirit team will slip you some extra guidance throughout this video. If that's the case, I will definitely do my best and keep my eyes peeled and see what type of advice I can offer you, okay? Just keep an open mind that I do get very nosy in these readings. I don't hold back messages and I do not, I do not sugarcoat. So if you're expecting rainbow skittle farts, it's not going to happen here. Um, so only take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Never give your power away to tarot cards. You're never tied and bound to any outcome in any reading and you're always in full control over your choices, okay? So with that preamble out of the way, let's get nosy. Let's dive in. All right, Spirit, please tap into the energy of my beautiful aqua babies. What do we have for Aquarius today? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. I keep on getting cat hair up my nose. <laughs> Excuse me. I got six cats. All right, Aquarius. Who's heading towards Aquarius this month? Can Aquarius trust this person? Two more shuffles, please. One. Two. Let's rock this and deck for my beautiful aqua babies. All right, that one card wanted to stay on the table, so you got a bonus one. Let's take a look at the bonus card and then we'll get into your main spread. Ooh, the king of wands wanted to show up. Could be dealing with a fire sign. This is the energy of Leo, but also Aries and Sagittarius. You don't have to be dealing with a fire sign for this card to show up though. It's just telling me that there's someone showing up in your life in September that's very persistent, that is very action oriented, and that is very turned on by you. Whether you already know this person or you're just about to meet them, it's someone that does not let you know fear get in the way of romance and passion and desire. So someone's got their eyes on you this month. I will clarify this person and don't get hung up on the gender. It could be a man or a woman. I show up as the King of Wands all the time in my own self, in my own readings. So we'll put that guy over here and see, really get over here. Quit being a butthead. All right, let's take a look at who's coming towards you this month and get their feelings for you. We have the devil. Ooh, that's all about lust. That's all about wanting what you can't have, wanting what you shouldn't have, overindulgence, um, third party interference, codependency, obsession, obsessive thoughts, you name it. And it's showing up in this person's feelings towards you. Hmm. I mean, we all can step into the devil energy from time to time when we're obsessing about somebody, especially if they're new and exciting or when we don't really know what to expect, we can get caught up in obsessive thoughts. So I'm gonna give this person the benefit of the doubt and just see it as like them like thinking about you a lot because they're really turned on by you with that King of Wands energy. Um, but we'll see. So I'm gonna put this right here. Let's take a look at their intentions. What's this person's intentions with Aquarius? The Knight of Wands. This person wants to bump uglies with you this month. <laughs> I'm strongly getting that this person's desiring you big time Aquarius. Again, I don't know if this is someone that you've ever been intimate with or this is someone that is wanting to be that way with you, but someone's coming towards you quickly. Just be careful because the Knight of Wands as intentions does get a bad rep of you know, coming in for the passion, but then leaving with their boots in their hand at 2 a.m the next morning, you know? I just need to make sure that they've got good intentions with you. And I wanna see what your feelings are first, but this is a whole lot of desire, a whole lot of passion that this person's got for you, all right? What's their behavior with Aquarius this month? The Knight of Pentacles. So this is someone that's planning something. They're plotting and planning. They're either planning a, you know, offer towards you, whether it's stable or not, Usually it's stable when it's the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles usually comes in with secure offers, someone that is looking for someone to settle down with or to build something secure with. But 
It could also be that this person has been planning to come towards you for some time now and is getting ready to make their move, whether to ask you out on a date or a second date or to reconcile if this is someone that kind of, you know, fell off the face of the earth for a little bit and now is wanting to come back into your life in September. Okay, it is Virgo energy. Um, but they got that map in their hands and X marks, marks a spot and that's you. You're the X. Okay. Let's take a look at how you feel about this person. How does Aquarius feel about this person, please? The Eight of Cups. Wow. Aquarius, you're either A, telling me, Badison, I already walked away from this person. What do they want now? Or B, you're feeling like they walked away from you and you're wondering why they're cycling back around again. And if this is not anyone you've ever dealt with before, this could also be telling me that you're in the process of turning your back on something that you no longer want to be a part of anymore. And now this person may be coming in as a distraction for what you are needing to focus on. Like you're wanting to say in this reading, oh man, I don't have time for this other person. I've got some other things that I got to walk away from right now. Maybe, maybe later I'll, I'll hit this person up and go out. You know, this word clarifying is going to help me. Okay. I will clarify. Uh, what's the challenge for Aquarius this month? The Ten of Cups. Now, when the Ten of Cups shows up in the challenge position, I read the energy reverse, okay? And the Ten of Cups in reverse is feeling like you and another person are just not getting on the same page where you can feel confident that there, there is gonna be long-term involved. Or you may be feeling like you've got some drama within your own family, whether your sister, your brother, your mom, your dad, your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, your bro. You may feel like you're, you're in a lot of drama with your family members where it's distracting you from focusing on your romantic life. Or, or the other thing could be that someone already has a relationship and is trying to pull someone into a third party experience. Okay? Because remember, the devil is all about what they desire and very little consideration for what happens with the other person. You know, it reminds me of, um, that's that person that doesn't care if, you know, being intimate with you is going to wreck your marriage. They just want what they want. And then they're going to take off and not caring about the fact that they broke your family up. You know, it's like, I want what I want. I don't care what's going on with your situation. That's just an example of what I get with the devil at times. That's only for those who are in like third party situations where you got someone tempting you to step out of your, your relationship with someone else to, to be with them intimately. Okay. Um, what's your potential outcome in September? The Six of Swords, you're getting peace. Something is working out in your favor, Aquarius, where you're gonna feel like um, you're moving on from a very stressful situation, okay? Whether it has anything to do with this person specifically or with your, your own blood-related family members or friends that feel like family, it, it looks like you're gonna be resolving something. As we step into Libra season, this is Libra energy, okay? So Virgo season is a little bit wonky for you, but at any, at, you know, entering, Libra season, things start to settle, okay? And I could not get that word out for the life of me. So some of you may be having trouble communicating your feelings to the people in your life right now where you're like, you know what? I'm just gonna walk away from this conversation because I don't even know how to convey my thoughts right now. You know, you may be saying to yourself, what's your advice? The Three of Cups. Your advice is to get with your girls, get with your guy friends, and just be around people that really love you, that lift your spirits up. And for some of you, this could be advising you that it's okay to date this person. All right, we'll see. What's the overall energy for you this month? The Five of Swords. Ooh. Good news is you're coming out of it. Whatever this Five of Swords is, Aquarius, you're coming out of it, so don't worry. You're gonna be fine. Okay, this is showing me that you're going to get the peace that you need. But there is a challenge for you this month that you're trying to walk away from. Okay, so I feel like I have like a plethora of different messages coming through. I've got a group of Aquarians that has this hot little number coming towards you, really wanting to start something passionate with you, but they feel like you are chained and bound to another situation, whether family drama or drama at the workplace, drama with friends, I don't know. They might be aware of the situation you've got going on and is planning you guys' connection while they wait for you to take care of what you need to take care of. 
not mafia style, of course. Um, the other message I'm getting is that you and this person may have been arguing or going back and forth, tit for tat, sending mixed signals to each other, one-upping each other, and you're wanting to walk away from the drama, and this person's like, yeah, can you still walk towards me, though? You, we can walk away from the drama, but let's still let's build our future together, and you're not sure. The third message I'm getting is that um, somebody here may be trying to pull someone into a third party situation where someone's already married or in a relationship and you're trying to not get involved with that. You're trying to walk away from any players, anyone that's trying to make you a side, side dude or side chick. Okay, so I don't want to speculate. I want to start clarifying to see what the heck is going on here. Um, let's first start with that King of Wands. Because the King of Wands wanted to stay in your reading earlier. So let's see. Let's give this person a chance to get their attention. Why the King of Wands? Why the King of Wands? The Three of Wands? So this is someone that's been waiting on you. Waiting on taking some sort of action. It's like the King of Wands knows when it's time to take action. I hope my camera's not being a jerk. It's been raining, so it's been affecting the lighting on the camera or on the cards. Um, someone here is wanting to defend their character. I'll get back to the King of Wands in a second. Let's clarify this devil energy. I want to see if it's the same person. Clarify that devil. That's Capricorn energy. The number 15 could mean something to you. Or the number 6. Why the devil? The Nine of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Now the Nine of Wands is that energy of not wanting to give up. You know, even if put into a corner. The Wheel of Fortune is all about a karmic cycle coming to an end. Completing a cycle and a new one beginning. Hmm. Someone's not wanting to give up on something. Someone's really determined. Alright, so let's let's take a look at your feelings. This way I can get, get to understand what's going on here. Why is the Eight of Cups how Aquarius feels? Why is the Eight of Cups how Aquarius feels? The Chariot, Cancer Energy, and the Queen of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius Energy. And then I see the Five of Swords. Look at that. You're really trying to move on from any, any like crap in your life. You may feel like there's someone in your life, whether a romantic someone, a family member, or a coworker, you may feel like someone around you is trying to like start a war with you, like start a smear campaign against you, or try to bait you into an argument, and you're over here like, I'm above that. No, I'm above that. You've climbed to the top of this tree to get a bird's eye view of what's going on at ground level because you feel like you need to see something from a different angle. And once you get your clarity, you're done with that. You're, you're walking away. So if it is a family member or a friend or a coworker that's trying to bait you into some drama, you're, you're turning your back on that. You're protecting yourself. So it doesn't feel like it's associated with this King of Wands person. You don't look like you're mad at the King of Wands person. But you're distracted right now, which is leaving you very little time and energy to give to this King of Wands. And that could be why this person is being patient and waiting on you to take care of a few things. Okay. Um, clarify the Knight of Wands, please. The Hanged Man and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, this person feels like their intentions um, towards you need to be put on hold for a second with that Hanged Man in order for someone to like make some sacrifices in order to like have a breakthrough here, Ace of Swords. All right, let me clarify this Five of Swords. Hanged Man, Death Card. You're like, I'm ending this war, but I'm not going to give them what they're looking for. You're peacefully exiting a situation because you don't want to be a part of the messiness. Why the Five of Swords? The Magician and the Six of Cups. Man, yeah, you may have like a sibling or a childhood friend or an ex trying to like bait you into an argument, Aquarius, and you're not giving them any satisfaction on feeding it. All right, you're doing it the proper way. You're not giving it a reaction, okay? Some people will bait you and bait you and bait you just to get a reaction, and that in itself is feeding their need for your energy, okay? Um, so yeah, I feel like there's two different people showing up in your reading today, Aquarius. You've got one person that is very attracted to you, and they're coming in really passionate. They're coming in very... I like the King of Wands. I've always liked the King of Wands, all right, when it's in the upright position. 
In reverse, I don't care for the King of Wands. But in the upright, it's someone with a big heart. It's someone with a really good heart. So this person's like on the outskirts, kind of observing you, waiting on the right moment to come towards you in September. Maybe you told this person, look, I, I'm dealing with some stuff. I need a moment. Um, and they're giving you your space. Or they're waiting on you to break off with an ex or soon to be ex, someone that may be feeding into a toxic cycle with you. And this person's waiting on you to do that so that way they can pursue you with a long-term offer, okay? So let's clarify that 10 of cups. All I know is you're not being guided to react to this person or to that situation. It's manipulative. When the five of swords is influencing the magician, it's manipulative tactics. Clarify that 10 of cups, 10 of cups. Look at that, six of swords. Look at that Aquarius, look at you go. I am so friggin' proud of you. The Six of Swords to the Ten of Cups, this is you not even feeding that energy. Right back here is the Five of Swords. It's that little cat fight. And you're like, uh-uh, I'm not a part of that. I'm not going down to their level. Screw that. So I don't know if this is family members starting beef with you or an ex trying to get their new supply, you know, you know, giving you the runaround or this is, um, this is like someone that knows you pretty well, but they know the old you, the old you that would probably respond and pop off, but the new you is like, I'm not feeding this energy. It's gonna affect my vibe. It's gonna affect what I'm trying to grow for myself. I want to attract abundance in my life. I am not going to that space again, all right? It's someone that knows your, your, your soft spots, your pressure points. It's kind of what it feels like. Do you know the image I just got, Aquarius? The image I just got off of this is someone that will like poke at you and poke at you and poke at you and you try to ignore it and then they poke some more and then when you finally react, they get their camera out to record your reaction. That's what this feels like and you're not, you're not giving it. You're not giving it. Or they're trying to like collect as much evidence of you like reacting in a neg negative way so they can ruin your reputation and you're not allowing it. Yeah, this could be your child's father or child's mother, an ex, or, or someone that you were not romantically linked to, but they're mad that you're trying to walk away from any connection that you had with them, whether in business, platonic, friendship, or something like that. And you got your love situation over here. This person's wanting to come towards you, but they feel like you're stuck in a, a, a toxic situation and they're waiting for you to like take care of that. Why the Knight of Pentacles? The Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. So I like this Knight of Pentacles energy. They're coming towards you with something solid, okay? They want to build something solid with you, Aquarius, but they know that um, you're dealing with some stuff that you need to take care of on your own, all right? Maybe you can get some support from your friends, three of cups. So that's what I'm getting. So I don't know if you went through a legal battle or something. It's like you're, you're coming out of it though. You've got, you got extra protection around you. And if you feel for a second that you don't have extra protection, just call upon Archangel Michael and be like, hey, Michael, you know, can you, can you give me some extra protection? I'm, I'm dealing with some stuff. And sure enough, mm -hmm. It'll happen, okay? Clarify that Six of Swords. The Page of Wands and the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're moving on from feeling stuck and restricted, feeling like you were a victim, feeling like your hands were tied. Um, it's like there's communication coming towards you, very fiery communication, and you feel like responding to it would just be playing with fire. Your tail's getting caught on fire. Like someone's trying to get you curious about what they have to say to you. Okay, why the Three of Cups as Aquarius' advice? They're confirming you should date the King of Wands. The King of Wands came out as the clarifier with the Three of Cups and the Page of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Now again, it does not have to be a fire sign, but they're showing me that whoever this King of Wands person that showed up initially in the beginning of the reading, this person's good people. This is someone that you would probably enjoy dating, all right? That's if they have not like showed you any like red flags, all right? If this is someone new, they're encouraging you to go on a date with this person, but definitely do what you gotta do. I wanna get another card on um, this situation. One second. 
I just like to be very thorough because I am getting multiple people around you, but not all of them are connected to your romantic love life. You've got a, a lot of people around you right now. Some that really want to support you and a person in particular that is threatened by how loved you are. And just when I said that, I opened up to the witch card and the five of swords. The witch card is like the empress times two. Okay. And we got that five of swords repeatedly showing up. Someone's threatened by how much you're loved or how skilled you are at something or how things look easier for you. Someone's showing you their true colors. You know, it's like a horse of a different color right here. Someone's show, showing you their true colors this month and you're not wanting to bother with it. You're, you're like, I'm going to go gray rock on you. I feel like I said that to you recently. There was somebody I said that to. Anything else for Aquarius? In regards to their romantic love situation? The Nine of Swords. Yeah, you're needing to um, face your fears this month. In regards to your past Five of Cups, and then I see the Devil card. There's someone that you have history with that you're needing to complete a cycle with. The cycle is done. You don't need to go through it anymore. No longer go through the same lesson over and over and over and over again. Okay? There's someone that is trying to keep a hold on you, Aquarius. I just don't know who this is for you. I keep on getting an ex. But if it's not an ex, I keep on getting it someone that you have strong history with, like strong ties to, like a family member that has narcissistic traits. I don't like to throw around the word narcissist because not everyone's a narcissist, but I'm getting narcissistic traits, which we all can have from time to time, depending on, you know, the healing we've done and the shadow work we've done. But you've got someone showing up in this reading, really trying to have control over the situation with you, okay, and keep you like locked and loaded to a repetitive cycle with them. But that, those clocks right here are saying time is ticking for you to wrap this up and not go through the same cycle over and over again. You're entering a new timeline, Aquarius. Where you're headed next is going to be way different than where you were before and the vibration is going to be different. So if you're of a higher vibration, anyone of a lower vibration won't even be able to come close to you. But someone's trying to prevent you from staying in that higher vibration or entering that higher vibration and pull you down to their level. Especially if they're feeling unhappy in their life. They don't love themselves. They don't have a lot of people that love them and care about them or their career is not doing as great. All right? Some, some competition around you. You know? Someone's trying to, it's the crab bucket theory. And I've said this to you before, I just don't remember what reading. Crab bucket theory, look it up. When someone's climbing their way out of some sort of situation, the ones that don't know how to climb up to will pull you down, will pull you down to their level and keep you stuck. Misery loves company. So if you're happily moving on and meeting someone that loves you and wants to marry you, Aquarius, and you have an ex that is not meeting anybody right now, it's like, oh, heck no. Oh, heck no. No, I'm going to pull the Aquarius back into my mess. Okay? And Crosswatcher, if that doesn't sound like you, it's not you. And take accountability, though. We're all about accountability. But you've got this King of Wands energy showing up in your reading, Aquarius, who looks like they have good intentions. Okay? So whether this is someone that you're about to meet or you already know who this person is, they're going to give you the space to take care of what you need to take care of so you can find your internal peace. Okay? Um, so I hope this helped. I hope it made sense. For those of you at a dis or um, rewind. For those of you who are in no contact with someone right now or the situation is very confusing, I'm going to pull there what they wish that they could say to you, if they could say anything at all to you cards. Okay? This is usually for my no contact group. Zodiac signs that came through this reading, Aquarius, is Capricorn, Cancer, Leo, um, Gemini, Virgo. Um, I think I already said Aquarius, Scorpio. Yeah, those are the main ones. Just don't focus on those Zodiac signs. We all carry it. 
Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you like the book of private reading with me, Aquarius, the link to my website can be found in the description box below of every video. BaddisonIntuitiveTarot.com. Um, that's two Ds, not one for Baddison. And every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I go live with the All Signs Their Feelings for You spread, where I do a similar spread as this, but I show my face, I'm more engaging with you on air, and it helps me to target your situation and make it feel like an almost personal reading when you're right there with me live you know, during the live stream. So if you want to participate in that, the link to my um, most recent All Signs reading is in the description box below this video to give you an idea of what to expect. And that message is still good for the whole week. So just click on the Aquarius timestamp and then just hit the notification bell for the next live stream, okay? I've committed to someone else because they don't challenge me. For some of you Aquarians, someone chose someone much easier. Come on camera, don't be a jerk. I want to contact our mutual friends to ask about you. Someone may be going through other friends to get a hold of you, especially if you block their number or you know block their email. Someone may be going through like a third party to get to you, like triangulation. I see in the face of strangers, you are always with me. I'm still trying to find a place for myself in the world. So someone here that's trying to pull you in is still trying to figure out their own situation. You know, I feel like they need to just focus on their own situation and then come towards you maybe when everything is where it needs to be. Um, yeah, so I hope this helps. I know it may have felt kind of negative in energy. I can't help what comes through and I can't sugarcoat. You know, there's I can't like, I can't put a positive spin to the Five of Swords. I just can't, all right? So, I, I hope this helps. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Never give your power away to tarot cards. You're never tied and bound to any outcome in any reading, and you are always in full control of your choices. I'll check back with you in a few days for your next weekly update. All right, Aquarius, I love you. Take care.